Right, it's time for showbiz and Noella is here. Hello, Noella. Hi, Israel. How are you doing? Noella, how are you? How was your weekend? It was good. Okay, I yeah, had a fantastic restful. weekend as oh, well. Fantastic. Of course. That's I'll tell it. you all about it. But uh, let's talk about uh, Obrafo's Paimuka concert. Yeah. It was a huge success. I mean, the highlight for me was when I saw Sarkar I saw Reggie Rockstone, okay. I saw Edem, oh, wow. you know, all on one stage. And of course, Obrafo honoring uh, Ebony as well, the late Ebony. So yeah, if you missed out on it, well, take a look at this. Sounds of our time in Ayer. He, he actually endorsed the brand grew into the scene. So it is it, it, it is more of like a, a father and a son affair today. I saw him record tracks. And then I saw tracks become hits after he had done them. That is 20 years of rap. I can't come and joke there. You know, I got to show love, passion, respect, all inclusive. And celebrating 20 years of sabotage. 20 years of ups and downs. Charlie, we need to celebrate him. Let's do this for Brapo. This man is the reason why I took pen and paper to write. I said, we cannot do all this act without this song wow <laughs> I that mean, was it, was, it was huge, yeah. it was huge. You know, Imagine you could, mm -hmm. you could put all these guys on one stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I monitored social media after, you know, uh, the concert. And it looks like a lot of people were angry about the fact that Shatawale was there. I hear he came with this Ferrari packed in front of, you know, the conference center, but didn't perform, you know. And a lot of people saw that as disrespectful. Why come, you know, without performing? Was he supposed to be on but the bill? If he wasn't Of course, he wasn't. Bill. Exactly. He wasn't yeah, on the yeah, bill. Why so, should people yeah. be angry? But away from that, let's talk about Lord Kenya. Okay. Uh, you know, he's not a pastor evangelist, a Lord Kenya. He is uh, speaking against the legalization of weed. And for him, he says, but his experience and how bad, you know, weed affected him when, you know, back in the day when he was in the world. Yeah. He doesn't think this is something we should consider, you know, legalizing at okay. all. <laughs> It was a first and foremost, I'm gifted and talented, there's no doubt about it. But what actually kept me on was the passion that I have for it. And plus a couple of drugs we used to take it on, it affected me the way I, I, I reason. You know, because I got to a point in my life that I would say things that I don't even remember. Like, I forget myself easily. And I go to the studio, instead of doing the right thing, in code, I'll be shouting here and there, thinking that I'm doing the right thing. But for drugs, I knew I would have been more better, or probably I would have been better than what I did. But drugs really, really affected me. 
myself, my family, and society. This is my observation. I think first and foremost, there should be a debate. You understand? Those who are experts in it. I think the reason why they are talking about being legalized is because they want to make money out of it. But we have to be careful because if it's not regulated, it's like you take it anyhow. You understand what I'm saying? And it's not everybody that takes it that is okay for it. Somebody takes it is only good for him or her. Somebody's going to take it is not going to be good for him or her. I think we don't have to legalize it. <laughs> I agree with those who say that mm -hmm. we really don't have the structures to regulate things, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. if we can't, then we probably should, shouldn't try. go into yeah, it. Yeah, those yes. people will definitely abuse it. Already they're abusing that's it. That's the word. And uh, that's it for showbiz, but tomorrow I'll tell you all about my fantastic weekend, so I anticipate. Okay. <laughs> yeah, some people enjoy fantastic weekends. I'll be for those of you watching on Joy Prime, but there's more news on the Joy News channel. Stay tuned in.